面试。你玩的这么晚，我明天怎么去面试啊？你这样下去。Night live. I just found it interesting how um, like involved we are with social media, and especially in certain countries where even during a sexual experience they need to be engaged with technology. I just, I just think that it's, it is very current and it does, it did speak to how disconnected people are with reality because of the screens and the screens they were watching and this person out there somewhere in the netherworld wants to do this and then the, the screen in the bathroom, etc. Just a sad statement on the current state of social affairs with young people. I really like this one. Uh, I thought it was, uh, uh, for one thing, it's actual filmmaking, not it's not a music video or a little, little, uh, little micro piece of art. It's it was actually a movie, uh, and I thought the style quite appropriate to what it was trying to convey. And uh, back in the 1980s, uh, just before uh, uh, just before the Czech Revolution, I knew a lot of teenagers in Czech Republic, and they would have understood this film instantly. Uh, the, the, the mixture of, of paranoid fear with what the fuck, I'm just going to do it anyway sort of atmosphere uh, was very much like it was that you found in Eastern Europe before, you know, before the big rebellions. And so, I think this is probably on the button socially and artistically quite well done. This person could easily make a feature film. They might have to, uh, they couldn't obviously make an entire 90 minute film with that intense, uh, at that level of intensity, but scenes in the film would rise to that. So I thought it was excellent work. Yeah, so just to mirror what the previous person was saying, I mean, he, he gets yanked out of the club by his father, and it you know, cuts insta cut the scene of a purple balloon flowing across a, a construction zone. And, you know, I work construction a bit, and I, I thought of the parallels there. I thought of uh, the lot of these, the imagery, a lot, a lot of military, a lot of uh, hard, you know, muscular men, a lot of uh, a military theme in terms of music. I was listening for the music. You, you'd hear the military themes of, uh, you know, I mean, it touched on a lot of things. It touched on a lot of things with masculinity. It touched on a lot of things with, uh, I'd say, confidence in terms of doing work, looking out for other people. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was beautiful. Just that one transition of a purple balloon kind of floating above a, a construction zone, an empty construction zone, in fact, just kind of really summed up with, you know, what, what I was thinking. I, was, I just wanted to make that kind of point out that scene when I heard that comment from the other commenter there. Um, I just wanted to add um, my piece. So I didn't think the characters represent a disconnection. Um, it's an age-old story of a father and a son. And the father has a whole bunch of ideas of how he wants his son to be successful. And his son is another whole person with his own um, wishes, aims, realities, desires. Uh, I thought that was incredibly well done. Um, I also, uh, with the whole social media, um, aspect of streaming live and the bar. Uh, it's, it's like we're moving into an age where private life becomes public. And this um, short film uh, is right on the cusp of that. And I thought it was incredibly well done because we get the screen with all the, all the busy, the ads and the you know, uh, messages coming in and the sex scene going on. Uh, so uh, I thought it was really brilliant. Yeah, there's that scene where they're actually, they're in a sexual encounter in a bathroom stall watching a political thing on a screen. Like, there's a lot of layers, really deep layers. And you have a really good point that even though there's a lot of currentness on, on today's society, it's an age-old story. That, you know, there's expectations that someone else isn't willing to fulfill. And everything that comes along with that. So a very deep layered piece for something so short, seven minutes, packs a lot in.